Are you filming? Yes. Okay. All right. So I have uh, Terminus Zeus that I am putting together. It's gonna be from. It's gonna be my first nice competition rifle build. Um, if you have any interest in the Zeus, you can call Joel Russo. He's out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, went with a Timney hit trigger. Got to set it uh, just about a half a pound. And I chose the Terminus Zeus because of the ease in which you can uh, install a barrel. And I haven't installed a barrel yet. I got mine from Southern Precision Rifles. It's a six millimeter Creedmoor. That is a straight 125 barrel. So what we're gonna do, and I ordered this from Greg and Russ at Southern Precision Rifles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some uh, anti-seize on the threads. That stuff is pretty messy, so it does not want to come out, which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go ahead and rub some all over the threads. It's pretty messy. And then show you how hopefully easy it is to install the Zeus on here. So I'm going to just take a look at the threads and make sure they're not, you know, there's no chips or anything. And I don't see anything. And I don't see anything in the lug recess or, can you see that? Yep. Okay. And it seems to be pretty good. So once I've got that, I like to back off until you hear that engagement. I don't know if they can hear that, but basically until they disengage and then start from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and start spinning the action on. I don't know if you could hear that, but it it just real easily shoulders into place. So you hand tight that. And then you take a 564ths Allen wrench. I'm going to drive in these uh, set screws. So, I'm going to put them both in until they just touch the barrel shoulder. Then I'm going to come back and hand tight them, tighten them, and then give it a nice snug. The spec is 10 inch pounds, but when I talk to Joel Russo, it terminus he said you know he just hand tightens them and this one okay yeah it's good I'll come back and do a second video to make sure that the or to show you that the head spacing is good or not but um we have just enough clearance I mean Probably, no, maybe five thou on either side of the um, foundation uh, stock. And I went with a 125 straight, you know, taperless uh, barrel to, well, I'll tell you what I did in theory anyway. Got some of that NSEs. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure everything's lined up. Got a Hawkins bottom metal. I'm gonna 
do. Sixteenths Allen. Just go to working that on. I've never um, well, I take it back. I used to put a torque on everything. I don't do it so much anymore. I usually just hand tighten and feel. I'm going to pause it real quick. We good? Okay. So we get to hear my daughter Izzy's awesome Japanese ringtone. Is it Japanese or K-pop? Japanese. Okay. So yeah, I used to torque everything to a specific uh, requirement, and I don't necessarily anymore because when I was shooting my Tika, I just started going hand tight. I do tighten rings to a spec and other items, but I'm not so big on torquing everything now. So that's it so far. Um, I, I mean, you saw the build. It took all of about, uh, you know, probably, how many minutes are we at now, Izzy? Um, seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes to put everything together. Now, I will say this. I have to put on these rings and I'm in a bit of a point of concern right now is can you like from right there show the the ring the spacing that spacing is maybe um, like a sixteenth of an inch we'll see here yeah I mean that's less than a sixteenth of, oh, of an that's inch the ring. Uh, I'm sorry not the ring but the objective diameter so I have maybe a sixteenth sixteenth of an inch of clearance between the objective and the barrel and honestly that's a little bit concerning to me I'm gonna text a good friend of mine ask him what he thinks ask him if he thinks I'm good to go but in reality probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a some high I've got medium uh, Seekins scope rings and I'm probably gonna have to go with some highs and um, I'll go ahead and torque this on just so everybody can kind of see how it looks but I mean we're probably and I've been taking my time I'm not in a rush so where are we at nine minutes yeah for almost a complete rifle build which is pretty cool. Like I said, I'll get some headspace gauges out in a little bit to show everybody what those look like and I'll post a follow-up video. I took some time off for Thanksgiving and then I'll post a follow-up range report once we have that in. But I mean, right now, this thing is looking sweet. I'm just kind of bummed the scope caps are not, they're not going to fit, which is kind of a bummer. You know, I've got these nice Tenebrix caps and I don't really like leaving my objective um, exposed because, I mean, yeah, that's like... maybe a 32nd of an inch clearance. Now this barrel is 
you know, it's a 125 diameter. So I should have anticipated that if I was a little bit smarter, but whatever. I'm not yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to running this. Um, this will be my first season. Um, I have no ammo in here, but I'll just show you this trigger real quick. I mean, it is like you barely touch it. I love the half pound trigger. Um, this will be my first season in PRS. Um, go ahead and pause the video real quick and then I'll show the muzzle brake on. All right, are we resumed? Yep. Okay. So, I like the uh, inside heaving muzzle brake. And I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on the threads. There's some I like using paper towels. I don't know why. Just, uh, pardon my artistic dining room table. It's a mess right now. I like Taco Casa. And s'mores. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I like this brake because you can Center it up where you want, like that, that's pretty straight up and down, and then you just finger tighten it, and actually, let me set it back just a hair, and now, we're good, so that should be good to go, so, um, See how this feels. That feels pretty good. So like I said, once I get some time to do a proper range report, check the headspace. I've got the six Creedmoor, or actually it's six five Creedmoor, headspace gauge, go no go. I think they're PTG. Uh, I'll do a second video for that just so everybody can see that, you know, how well they headspace this barrel barrel feels pretty good i mean really easy install um really like talking with joel very easy guy to speak with so i'll come back with another video and we'll post this one on youtube first to just kind of get everybody up to date um so feel free to leave a comment like if you want to and uh